everyone, Joe here, and today we're going to be showing you how to set up auto tracking on your IPPTZ. There may be a few misconceptions about auto tracking out there, so we just wanted to clear that up. Auto tracking is actually a component of Intelligent Video Surveillance, or IVS. So in order to set it up, you're going to have to set up IVS rules on your PTZ, to which the auto tracking is tied to. The camera will not be able to auto track naturally just by being plugged in and turned on. You will have to complete this setup. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to need to log into your recorder. Let's do that now. Okay, the first thing that we're going to need to do is log into the recorder if we have not already done so. Once logged in, we need to set a preset on the camera in order to give it a position. We're gonna do this from the live view. A preset is just a numeric or named representation of an axis of view or zoom for any given camera's field of view. We want this to be where the auto tracking takes place, so we're gonna to have to set that preset. Move or zoom your camera to wherever you like, and then simply add a preset using the PTZ controls at the bottom of the live view. Once you have decided to add your preset by clicking the add button at the bottom, you will see indication that the preset has been successfully added by a message appearing on the screen that says preset and then the number. Next, we have to set up the smart plan and make sure it's active for this camera. So close out your live view and open up the AI menu. From here, we're going to need to open up the parameters and collapse the smart search. Once in parameters, click smart plan. Make sure the proper channel is selected, the preset is selected, and that IVS is selected. After all of these settings are locked in, scroll down to the bottom right corner and click OK. Next, we need to go actually set our IVS rule. From here, you'll be able to set any type of rule you like, but we're going to be using tripwire or intrusion for our example today. You can add a rule by clicking the plus sign here. Make sure that your channel is properly selected first. Once you've added a rule, they're going to add to the preset that we have set for that smart plan. You can change your rule by clicking the type and changing it to intrusion, tripwire, or any of the other options you see there. Once you've selected your rule type, you will be required to draw a rule. You may have to click the button, you may not, but then start drawing by clicking a single location until you have all of the sides of the square that you want for your intrusion box or all of the lines you need for your tripwire. Right click when done. Make sure that the appearance and cross enter and exit actions are selected based on your needs. It's a good idea if you have an AI camera to make sure that both people and vehicles are selected. You're going to want to mark off track time and make sure there's a checkbox next to that. And for our example, we're going to set the maximum track time of nearly 300 seconds. Make sure your recording settings are locked in and you don't have any PTZ options set to interfere with your tracking and click OK. Once your rule is successfully saved, we're now going to go to the live view and check out our tracking in action. Let's take a look. Thanks for joining us today as we showed you how to set up auto tracking on your IP PTZ camera. For more information about these products, compatibility, availability, or any other questions you might have, feel free to give our sales pros a call at 561-288-5258. That's all we have for you today. Till next time, stay safe.